So scheduled for 25 laps here tonight. And we'll work out at corner number four. Your IMCA stock car is underway. Palmore off the top side of the racetrack. That car shot directly to the right. He's off the racetrack, brings it back out of the back straightaway. We'll stay green. Three wide further back in the field. Fernier, Banks, and Alvarado. Anchor leaves lap number one. The 05 Anchor slides up the racetrack. Here comes Jason Anderson. Anderson in front of Trip Gaylord. Stuck behind the 73 of Joe Bellum as they all settle in here early on in the stock car feature tonight. Joe Bellum on the inside wants that race lead. Here comes Anderson. Jeremy Frenier cracks the top five, running fifth in that 17J. On the bottom is Joe Bellum. Trip Gaylord now moves up the racetrack, trying to find a different line, trying to work his way around the 9J of Jason Anderson. Battle for the lead at the line. Joe Bellum now scores your race leader. Inched out by half a car length. Anchor pinches him off down into corners. Wanted to shut the door. And out finds himself back into that second spot. Look at Trip Gaylord. He has made his way to the outside. Jeremy Fernier now inside the top five, running fourth. Gets around Trip Gaylord. Here comes a fly J. Jeremy Fernier working the outside of Jason Anderson. Battle for third. Three wide now for that third spot. Fernier drives it in deep on the high side of the racetrack. Joe Bellum at the line now scores your race leader. Bellum trying to clear the 0-5, and he does this time. Here comes Jeremy Fernier now to the third spot. Trip Gaylor to the inside of Jason Anderson. That's a battle for the fourth spot. Racing action front to back. Zach Hills are working up through the field. Anderson battle with Zach Hills are battle for that fifth spot. Hills are on the low side of the racetrack, takes over spot number five. Scored fifth that time by Frenier and Trip Gaylord. Battling out side by side, Frenier able to get by and put himself into that third spot. Fourth is Gaylord, rounding out your top five is Zach Hills are. Trip Gaylord sideways over in corners one and two. He'll lose a few positions. The heels are Alvarado and Anderson. Bellum out front continues to lead. Puts Chris Pankin in one lap down. Feature winner last. Saturday night at Phillips County Raceway is that 73 of Joe Bellum. Gosh, and flag is out. Rakuko on the back straightaway. Trying to be another repeat winner from last weekend. Joe Bellum will lead us back to the line. Bellum on that outside lane, takes the lead out of corner number two. Randy Aker drives it in deep into corners three and four. Almost got to the back bumper of Bellum, but that allowed Jeremy Fernier to get to the inside of Aker, the 05, battle for that second spot. Fernier to the inside, taking that second spot away is the Fly J. Jeremy Fernier, here comes Zach Hilzer. Good run for Hilzer in that 8Z car. Started deep in the field. Now battling for that third spot. Still side by side for that third spot. Hilzer drives up. He's up to the door panel of Anchor, that 05. Still side by side. Alvarado lurking behind. Trying to shut the door was the 05.
Good battle for that third spot. Frenier's starting to reel in our race leader, Joe Bellum. Hills are almost clearing for that third spot. This time out of corner number four, Zach Hills will clear for spot number three. Joe Bellum, caution flag is out. As Chris Pankinen pointed the wrong direction in corners one and two, the 11P. Joe Bellum sets the pace for near second. Hills are third out of corner number four, back and away for your stock yards. Jeremy Frenier to the inside, looking right off the restart. Once that race leads side by side out of corner number two, up to the left rear quarter panel at Joe Bellum. Bellum trying to close the door. Frenier still within striking distance as they work out of corner number four. Don't count out Hilser. Hilser working a little higher groove. Bubba Alvarado trying to get into that fourth spot. On to the inside of the 05, bringing with him Jason Anderson. <laughs> Up to the left rear quarter panel was for near once again as they run down the back straightaway. Top three cars breaking away from Bubba Alvarado. Bellum for near Hilser has moved up to the high side of the racetrack, trying to find something. Caution flag is out. So a handful of laps left. We'll restart lap number 19. We'll see if Joe Bellum can hang on. Or we'll see if we get a late charge from Jeremy Frenier. Zach kills her above Alvarado. We'll work out on corner number four. Back to the green flag. Bellum down the back straight away with the race lead. Frenier will drive in a deep, trying to get to the rear bumper. Frenier hangs on to that, had it almost completely sideways. Battle for fourth, Gaylord to the inside of Alvarado. Alvarado cuts it back underneath, looking for that fourth spot. Frenier now moves it up a lane out of corner number four, trying to find a way get up to that 73 car. Good battle for that four spot. Alvarado and Trip Gaylor is still side by side as they work down the back straight away. Fernier working that high groove over in corners three and four. May have just found something on the back end of that racetrack. Again to the top shelf over in corners one and two. Bellum able to add a couple car lengths Frenier will drive it in deep. He's almost up to the right rear quarter panel. Through the corner, Bellum able to drive away out of the corner exit. Laps clicking away. Battle for second. Zach Kielzer has a look underneath Jeremy Frenier. Top four cars, single file. Now top five cars, single file. Throw Bubba Alvarado in the mix. White flag is out one more time around for Joe Bellum. Frenier's got one last lap to try to find something. Working down the back straighter for the final time. Joe Bellum continues the lead. Trying to win back-to-back -back weekends in that 73 car. Joe Bellum will exit corner number four to the checkered flag and win the IMCA stock car feature here tonight. Jeremy Frenier second and Zach Hills rounds out the top three.